Russia-Ukraine War Latest News Peace talks are over after Ukraine's Korsk attack. Russian official The invasion of the Korsk area by Ukraine has put a stop to any chance of peace talks, according to a senior Russian official who made the statement on Wednesday. Maria Zakharova, a spokesperson for the Russian Foreign Ministry, reportedly made the remark while addressing reporters in Moscow, according to the Associated Press, AP. War between Russia and Ukraine has been going strong since Russian President Vladimir Putin invaded the country in February 2022. Earlier this month, Ukraine began an offensive campaign in Korsk Oblast. In the wake of Ukraine's surprise cross-border invasion, armed confrontations have escalated across southern Russia, forcing the evacuation of thousands of Russians from Korsk and the neighboring areas. According to Zakharova, after the horrors and terror committed against peaceful inhabitants, civilian population, civilian infrastructure, and peaceful facilities, who will engage with them? AP paraphrased, the day that Zakharova made her comments, Moscow said that it had been the target of a large-scale drone attack. In what the Kremlin dubbed one of the greatest drone attacks ever on Moscow, Russian officials said that its air defenses had successfully intercepted 11 drones from Ukraine above the capital. At least 11 drones were shot down above Moscow and the surrounding area, according to the Russian Defense Ministry's statement on Wednesday. Sergei Sabayanin, the mayor of Moscow, called it one of the largest ever attempts to strike Moscow with drones. The attempted drone assault did not result in any injuries or property damage, according to Sabayanin. Videos circulating on Russian social media networks showed what appeared to be air defense systems intercepting drones, setting off automobile alarms in the process. No third-party evidence of the drone strike could be located. On the other hand, on Wednesday, Alexander Bogomaz, the governor of Russia's Bryansk district, took to his Telegram channel to label Ukrainian troops as a sabotage and reconnaissance organization. The territory shares a border with Korsk and Ukraine. Russian soldiers were able to halt an advance by Ukrainian troops in the region, according to Bogomaz. Ukrainian forces reportedly demolished a third bridge across the same river earlier this week, which was supporting Russian military operations in the Kursk region. Moscow claims that one of the brides was killed by a Mars, which are high-mobility artillery rocket systems, that were given by the United States, the Kiev Independent cited Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky as saying. It is now our major mission in defensive operations overall, to destroy as much Russian war potential as possible in reference to the continuing offensive campaign in Korsk.